What's happening everyone? Welcome back. Today is the first day of the second round of RDS GP. Uh, we're at the in-ring, another new track. Right now the weather is amazing, it's very hot and uh, we just got the car through tech, everything's fine. We actually lost another bit of weight because we switched from our two power steering pumps in the back just to one at the front so we're going to check that now today see how it works and uh, yeah about to go out on track for the first time and it's another new track it looks it looks fast um, it looks technical so it's definitely going to be a challenge um, so the car is warmed up it's ready to go let's just see how the first run goes see how the gearing is see how everything is working and uh, go from there right Okay, so we're just back in after the first runs on this track and uh, man, it's a fun one. It's, it's fast, it's technical, a lot of full throttle. Really good, really good. The car feels very hooked up here. Um, we've made a few changes. We changed the front springs. Uh, we took out the two power steering pumps that were in the rear, went to a single one at the front. Um, I mainly put the ones in the rear to see if we could improve uh, the steering feel it was more of a trial than anything else but i think we're happier with the pump in the front and it actually feels uh, feels a lot better to drive so very happy with the first two runs and uh, the car is feeling feeling really good so i really hope that it stays dry this weekend um, i really hope it doesn't rain but the, the forecast is kind of changing russia really reminds me of ireland because one day you have amazing sunshine and the next day you could have a thunderstorm so we'll see what happens but I right, will go out there and do another few runs and see how it goes So we're after a pretty good day overall. It started raining about halfway through practice, so made it tricky. Um, very hard to see your points on track because the, the sun was kind of shining as well. And uh, it was just difficult to see um, where we needed to be on track. But we definitely still had some very good runs in the wet. Um, car has good grip here at this track in the wet and it seems to have good grip in the dry also. Um, so very happy with that. The changes we made to the power steering feel great and uh, in general I'm feeling feeling good. It's a very enjoyable track to do. 
I did one tandem run with Charles in, uh, at the end of practice, our last lap before practice finished. We got pretty close, some nice transition, some close proximity. My brother Mike and Michael washing the car now, giving it a good wash after the practice. And a uh, bit of a check over for tomorrow and we should be good. So, so far so good guys. So we're just after finishing up the first official practice here on Friday. Uh, tomorrow morning we have qualifying, but today we had a lot of good practice. Got very comfortable with the track and uh, had some very nice lead runs, especially towards the end. And um, had some cool chase runs as well with Demir at the very end. He's an amazing driver. You can push hard. He was uh, very close to us when he chased and then I chased him hard and uh, it was a really cool run. So very enjoyable. Now Mike and Michael are gonna check over the car uh, before tomorrow, go through it, make sure it's all good. And uh, very enjoyable first official day here. Um, really cool. So tomorrow's qualifying and top 32. Saturday, same event layout as round one. So fingers crossed it's dry. I'm really enjoying the track here in the dry and uh, yeah, good times. So. And see you guys in the morning. So that's qualifying done for us. Um, it went okay, it didn't go as good as I wanted. I'm slightly disappointed in myself because I messed up the entry, just not really fluid. The two runs I uh, did, I had some small understeer uh, while initiating and just a correction and it just kind of messed up the start of my run on both times. Um, I was trying to enter with a big flick but it just didn't work out the way I had planned. Uh, we've scored, we managed to qualify in fifth place, so not too bad. But I know I had more in me. Uh, the rest of the run was really nice. We filled all the zones really nice. Had nice fast transitions. 
and uh, in general very good but uh, yeah I was very disappointed in myself if I'm being honest uh, on the initiation uh, huge well done to Jack Shanahan my Irish neighbour for qualifying in first place his run was crazy full throttle max angle and uh, he pulled off the entry so top 32 next and I think I'm going against E46 um, is it here it's way down there somewhere but E46 um, we ran on him in tandem yesterday tandem practice yesterday he was quite fast so top 32 starts in about one hour uh, we have some time to get the car ready and uh, head for battles so fingers crossed we can get it together for the battles and uh, I want to push hard this weekend starts now top 16 tomorrow we got Arkasha the winner from round one and uh, he's definitely one of the fastest cars on track so uh, we need to be really focused and uh, be ready to push as hard as possible to try to take the win so I know he's really fast the car is extremely quick so we're gonna need to be ready uh, to fight trade some paint and uh, see how far we can take it so fingers crossed for tomorrow but uh, today didn't turn out too bad today is game day feeling good we've done some practice this morning and the car is feeling great um, had a nice chase with gotcha had a nice lead with him um, chase chipa as well last year's champion it was really fun uh, we've been putting some little scars on the car it's cool to see the carbon cable there coming through the wrap um, but yeah very very enjoyable but as I said yesterday, we're up against uh, Seri Gratsov and uh, his round one winner from last 
round and uh, he's definitely one of the fastest cars on track so we need to be ready for it uh, we need to drive smart to keep proximity and uh, hopefully it all comes together when it counts but practice has been great uh, just gonna do one more set of falcon tires and uh, we'll leave it at that so it's been a good day against Sarkasha. Um, he broke his 370Z in practice. He had a fire, so he used uh, the flanker, which is their spare car, and this car has a VR38. That was an horsepower. Carbon fiber, crazy car. Very fast, very fast, uh, especially on the straight. So he got me a bit on the straight into the first corner, but I uh, did my best to catch him on the transitions. We got close and uh, overall the two runs we just had a uh, cleaner battle so we're going on to top eight very happy gotcha next um so yeah fingers crossed we can uh, keep this form going but feeling great that was enjoyable it's really enjoyable to you know come here and battle the best you have to push as hard as possible um but yeah great experience Gotcha. Um, he was very, very fast uh, when he was leading, uh, but he missed a couple of clipping points. And uh, when I was leading, I nailed all the clips. Um, he was close, but they gave us a one more time because of the clipping points that he missed. So, very happy to get him one more time. 
his car is extremely fast um, so we're just gonna have to learn from what we try to learn from what we learned on the uh, first run um, go as fast as we can and uh, hopefully pin it to his door so fingers crossed fingers crossed Got knocked out and one more time at Gotcha, but Jack is still in the fight. <laughs> Better do it for Ireland, Jack. I don't know. We'll see. We'll yeah. just give it our all and hopefully yeah. we can do something. But... I'll be supporting you anyway, so best of luck. Uh, yeah, a very close battle. Um, a bit confusing, but this is drifting. Um, my spotter told me I had a better lead run and uh, the chases were similar. So he was thinking one more time or me, but Gotcha got the win, but that's the way motorsport goes. Uh, just have to watch it back a few times and try to see what we're doing. Uh, we're driving these cars right on the edge, like my car is beyond max grip, and uh, they're both hard cars to drive. But uh, yeah, a lot of smoke, a lot of blind transitions, but we definitely gave it our best and uh, top it. It could be worse, but it could be better. Yeah, bring on round three, that's all I can say. We'll get there eventually. We're not giving up. So we're back home in Ireland, finally, after a month away in Russia. It was a great experience for our first time, and uh, we had some nice results. Definitely learning with every event that goes by, and I'm very, very excited for the future events. While I was away, the guys were actually preparing the Eurofighter. Uh, that's currently on its way to Germany for the 24-hour race with Falcon Tires. We're doing a drift demo there again and doing some video work, so... It's gonna be fun to drive that car again after a long time. While I was in Russia, my brother Mike built a brand new 2JZ engine for this car. So very, very similar spec to the engine in our current S14 and RDS, uh, billet main caps, everything pretty much identical. All the brain crawler bits, ACL race bearings. Um, so that has a fresh engine that was on its original engine from when we built the car back in 2019. So just needed a full refresh. And uh, yeah, that's currently on its way to Germany. And Wednesday, in a couple of days, we're gonna be in Germany driving on the Nürburgring. So really looking forward to catching up with the Falcon Tires European team and uh, supporting them for the 24 hour race this year. So that's it for this week, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you guys next week and see what we get up to back in behind the wheel of the BMW. So catch you later. Thank you.